This problem gives us a boat's velocity as a function of time, and in part A asks for the components of the boat's acceleration. Acceleration is the time derivative of velocity, so the x component of acceleration is the derivative of the boat's x component of velocity, and that's shown here. Follow the rules for taking the derivative of a polynomial to see that ax equals minus 0 0.0360 meters per second cubed multiplied by the time t. In the same way, the y component of acceleration is the time derivative of the velocity's y component. And that's shown here, it turns out to be constant, 0 0.550 meters per second squared. Part b asks for the magnitude and direction of the boat's velocity at the time t equals 8 seconds. First we'll find the components of the boat's velocity at that time, and then we'll find the magnitude and direction. Substitute the values into the x component of the equation shown in the problem statement. The x component is what shows up in front of the i hat. To find that vx at 8 seconds is 3.85 meters per second. Do the same thing for the y component. To find that it equals 6.40 meters per second. We can then sketch that vector with an x component and a y component. and find its magnitude using the Pythagorean theorem. And it turns out to be 7.47 meters per second. That's the boat's speed at t equals 8 seconds. The direction of that velocity vector is the direction the boat is heading. That's given by the angle theta which is the inverse tangent of the y component over the x component. Substitute the known values and calculate to find that theta equals 59.0 degrees. Part C asks for the same thing for the boat's acceleration at that time. First calculate the components. Finding that Ax when t equals 8 seconds is minus 0 0.288 meters per second squared, and a y, which is constant in time, equals 0 0.550 meters per second squared. Sketching those components, this is the vector a, the acceleration. It's in quadrant 2. It has a magnitude given by the Pythagorean theorem, the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. Substitute all the numbers and calculate to find that the magnitude of the acceleration is 0 0.621 meters per second squared. The direction of this vector is given by the angle theta, and notice that it lies in the second quadrant, and that means that theta is the inverse tangent of the ratio of the components, y over x, plus 180 degrees. The plus 180 is necessary because the vector is in the second quadrant. Substitute the values and calculate, and you find that theta equals 118 degrees.